This is Undercliff Cemetery in Bradford, which is just up the road from where I live. It's full of Gothic masterpieces of people who lived and worked around Bradford. The great and the good, like the Illingworths here in their huge mausoleum that used to scare me to death with those doors. The Sphinxes. And here's the top of the mausoleum. All these little holes and doors into them used to scare me to death when I was at Undercliff School next door. But I used to come out and play in them when it was double maths and I hated it. I'd wander around looking at all the spectacles and wondering who the people were, who the people were that had carved them. How many people were actually in here under these huge architectural slabs? How long did it take to build it? How many people have walked up and down in their black dresses or come up in their carriages from down the middle of town on Manningham Lane through Busby's? I always used to wonder about the names. Who were the people? And our friends used to come and we used to wander around all around the cemetery, picking up names, making characters, telling stories, lying on the slabs and looking out across Bradford and wondering where they'd lived, how they'd got here, how far they'd come. It's great, is the cemetery. You can see the whole of Bradford from there and you can look at how it was developed, how big it was, and that with the start of the Dales, because from here you can see right across to Denham, up the Wharf Valley on a good day, when it's not snowing. And it's been used for all sorts of films with Billy Liar, Band of Gold, lots of Hollywood blockbusters. And here the bandstand. And Clara here, with her husband, an evangelist. Who was he? What was he evangelising about? Because of course we had the Methodists and the Wensleyans all coming around. Or here a First World War One grave. 1917 and the poppies to remember but had the charity that took this over not done what they've done we wouldn't even know they were here the underneath tangle woods of blackberries and olive trees and here there's an owner so we know who owns the grave but is there anybody in it we don't know it's always a mystery there's always something new to look at when you wander around and if you look just down here you wouldn't even know there was a graveyard there or the hundreds of people that were buried in here and this is just a short walk from my house that I can come and dream and make up stories every day about Bradford, its history and people.